Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a comparison between the Romeo and Julieta Short Churchill versus the Juan Lopez Number no. 2 cigar. Both of these cigars are Robusto sized cigars. However, Cuban Robustos are slightly shorter. Instead of being 5 inches long, they are 4 7 eighths of an inch long with a ring gauge of 50. Now, the Short Churchill, in fact, the Churchill series of cigars from Romeo and Julieta, they're some of my favorite cigars. I call them old reliable because they never seem to disappoint. If I ever want a sure thing, I pick one of these cigars because they are utterly brilliant and I wanted to see how the Juan Lopez compared against one of my favorite cigars so that's what we're going to do in this comparison I haven't smoked a lot of Juan Lopez cigars but I have smoked a bunch of number twos for this comparison just to kind of get familiar with them and uh, yeah let's cut the cigar let's light it and get straight into it first cigar that we're smoking today is the Juan Lopez number two and you know both of them beautiful looking cigars but I do think that the um I do think that the uh, short Churchill or the Churchill series of cigars from Romeo Julieta, they just look a little bit nicer, you know, lighter wrapper, double band, love that. But this cigar looks pretty nice as well. The wrapper has this beautiful sheen to it. It's a darker wrapper leaf and it's firmly packed, really well constructed. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get straight into it. First few draws on the number two, and this is a very impressive cigar. Construction-wise, it's excellent. I've only taken the slightest bit off the top, just the cap of this cigar, and the draw is exceptionally good. Really firm draw. I mean, not uncomfortable firm. I'm talking like a good firm draw, good amount of resistance, keeping me interested. Fantastic construction. Exactly the kind of draw that I want on a cigar. Really, really good draw on this one. Flavors. Flavors have kind of changed quite a bit. First couple draws, um, really good hit of vanilla and cedar, pepperiness on the back as well. And then it transitioned into kind of like a fruity note, a really dry fruity note. And it's given me uh, quite a, yeah, it's given me dry mouth as well. But I'm not bothered by it. Like, I, I kind of like the fact that it's given me some degree of dry mouth because I've got a beverage with me. I've got some water with me, so it's fine. But the dried fruit flavor, yeah, some heavy dry mouth there. And then it kind of transitioned again into um, kind of like a fruity, oaky flavor, a little bit of pepperiness on the back end. So it's changed quite a lot in the first few draws. I don't know if that's, you know, the blender, if that's just, you know, whatever was left on the front end and... I don't know, but uh, a lot of changes at the beginning of the cigar, and I've only taken like a few few draws. I'm literally just an, not even an inch into the cigar. So yeah, I mean, some cigars do tend to transition a lot within the first few draws because it's just kind of like getting to grips with what it is. Um, but this one, yeah, interesting. Interesting first few draws on the cigar, but very, very good. First few draws on the short Churchill now, and honestly, it is impossible, impossible to be disappointed with this cigar. Every single time I pick this up, just an incredible smoke. Every time, I don't know how they're doing it, but this is one of the most consistently brilliant cigars I've ever smoked. Old, reliable, back at it again. Flavor notes, beautiful, beautiful. I, I don't know why or how this cigar is the way it is, but it's just every time, every time, no other cigar is as consistent as this, except maybe some of the Trinidads. But even then, this, so good, so good. The draw, pretty much perfect, good amount of resistance. In fact, it's basically identical to the Juan Lopez in terms of the draw, exactly the same. I love that, good amount of resistance. And every time you take a puff, you're gonna have, you know, you have to put in a little bit of effort to um, uh, get get something out of these cigars. And I, and I prefer that. I don't like those tunnel cigars where you take a draw and everything's basically just coming through. I don't like that. This, exactly the draw that I want. The burn, little bit wonky, just a tiny bit. Nothing, nothing to write home about, but I never really knock off points for things like a bad burn or something because 
well i've got a lighter i can just touch it up it's not that difficult to do that flavor notes beautiful beautiful there's a spiciness on the tip of my tongue working extremely well uh almost um like a slight nutty flavor like a I don't know what it is, but I can never put my finger on it. I just know I really like the flavor. It's like this nutty kind of kind of flavor with this earthy tone. And there's like this slight coffee kind of vibe, which is going on as well. But it's those spicy notes and that nutty, it's the spicy and nutty flavors that work really well together for me. And then there's this coffee, coffee kind of flavor, which just kind of, which comes in a little bit. It's a little bit intermittent, but I can never put my finger on the flavor. I just know I really, really like it. And this cigar, excellent start. Really, just can't disappoint. Coming to the halfway point of the Juan Lopez now. And this cigar, um, it's had a bit of a disappointing transition. And uh, the reason I say disappointing is because it started off with some excellent flavor notes, uh, vanilla, um, pepperiness, fruity flavors, uh, some really nice spicy cedary flavors. It was working so incredibly well. And then after the first third, it transitioned into kind of like an earthy uh, sour fruit flavor. And I'm not saying that the earthy sour fruit flavor is bad. It's not bad by any means. In fact, they're very good flavor notes and they're working really well. And I am, I am enjoying it. It's just that the first few flavor notes were so good that the transition is it feels like a downgrade like it's gone from something really good to good and that downgrade is just it's just a bit of a dampener so i'm a little disappointed about that i think that if this cigar remained a little bit more consistent with the original the initial flavor notes this would be legendary easily um but yeah that slight change into the earthy sour fruity type flavor you know, it's, again, they're not bad flavors. They are very enjoyable flavors. And if the cigar started with that, then I'd be saying good things about the cigar. But because there's that downgrade, it just makes it feel a little bit worse than it actually is. Uh, in terms of construction, however, excellent. Utterly excellent. The burn, I haven't had any problems with this at all. And the draw has been basically perfect. I love the draw on this cigar, good firm draw, and it's remained consistent. So construction wise, no problems. Flavor notes, mm, a little bit disappointing so far. Coming to the halfway point on the short Churchill now, the first band has come off. The burn is just a little bit crooked. I tipped the ash, um, well, just a second ago because it looked like it was gonna fall. So um, I didn't want it falling on my lap. Uh, but the burn, just a tiny, tiny bit crooked. Um, I've had to touch it up a little bit, but it's not anything, uh, anything major. Again, I don't knock off points for a bad burn. The draw still perfect, but it's the flavors. The flavors are what make this cigar what it is and why I love this cigar. It's moved away from that nutty, um, uh, the nutty flavors that I was getting at the beginning. The spiciness has gone down as well. And now I'm getting a very prominent fruity flavor and it's a very um, deep, slightly bitter fruity note, which is beautiful and it works extremely well. There's a coffee flavor which is working with those fruity notes. So it's it's working in a beautiful balance. It's kind of like having a really nice strong roast coffee with uh, fruity notes to it. That's what this tastes like and it's utterly brilliant. I have to say halfway point on this cigar, there are some good transitions. The transitions are smooth and the flavors are utterly brilliant. Coming to the final section of the Juan Lopez cigar, and this has improved quite dramatically since the halfway point. Uh, a lot of the flavor notes have moved away from that sour fruity flavor to a more uh, deeper dry fruit flavor. Um, very earthy notes, oaky notes coming through as well. It's just excellent now. I, I'm really, really enjoying it. Quite an interesting cigar because the transitions are very prominent and they do keep you interested. So if you like a cigar or if you enjoy a cigar that has a number of transitions, the Juan Lopez is an excellent, excellent smoke. The burn has gone off just a little bit, but then to be fair, I did leave it a little bit longer than I should have in between um, puffs uh, over the last 
like inch or so, so that might be my fault. However, in terms of construction overall, the burn, it's been exceptional. Um, and the flavor notes, very interesting. Strength is ramping up at this point now, and it's really nice. Um, good, good amount of strength, comfortable degree of strength to it, and it's just keeping me feeling quite relaxed and very happy. So yeah, this cigar, an excellent smoke. A um, little bit of a dip in the middle or around the middle point, but then uh, came back very strong. Coming to the final section on the short Churchill now, and this cigar has been brilliant throughout. Not a single dip in, in the flavors. It's just so good all the way through. From the halfway point, it's very consistent. So flavor notes I was getting at that point has remained. Uh, dark fruity flavors, slight bitter fruit as well, but it's a good bitter fruity flavor and it's working really well with those coffee notes. Just such a good cigar. Slight pepperiness, but very, very subtle. There's a little bit of sweetness coming in as well from that fruity flavor and it's, it's just a beautiful flavor profile. The draw, pretty much perfect, and the burn, well the burn, you know, required a few touch-ups, but nothing major, nothing to write home about. Um, honestly, this cigar is just really, really good. It's a cigar you can have as a beginner, it's a cigar you can have after you've smoked practically every Cuban cigar and still enjoy it. It's just such a good smoke. Between this and the Juan Lopez, it's a bit of a tough one because the Juan Lopez, the number two, is an excellent cigar one that i really really do recommend and it's definitely box worthy it's a fantastic smoke i really really enjoy those cigars but this one it's one of those consistent cigars that if you ever just want a sure thing this is the one that i would pick up so obviously i highly recommend these i've had boxes upon boxes of these and i always enjoy them it's a tough one, admittedly, but I am leaning a little bit more towards the short Churchill over the Juan Lopez, just because the Juan Lopez on occasions does dip a little in the flavor profile, but then it does come back. So it does come down to what you prefer. This is one of those cigars where it's not definitive. That isn't a clear answer. They're both great, but they both sit in slightly different categories. Yeah. It's a tough one. I think, gun to my head, I'd go with the short Churchill, but that's not to say that if I ever pick up a number two, the Juan Lopez, I'm not gonna enjoy it because that excellent cigar. But yeah, that's been the comparison between the short Churchill and the number two, the Juan Lopez. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button, please subscribe, share this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, make sure you leave them below and uh, I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.